Hey there, everyone. It's Scott Calping, Mega Man X, and every single animal here eats scarabs, you uh, know, just casually. On the regular, except for octopus, but I guess it's mostly an issue of uh, biodome, you know, of where the animals live, rather than... The yeah, animation does theirs different when he charges up, funnily enough. Uh, then constant. I'm sure, in other words, if an octopus could eat a beetle, it would. For now, I'm gonna check it out. So, water level. This level, I fear, is going to be a nightmare. Uh, both the level and the boss, without the boots, mostly, is what's bringing on the fear. I guess we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, however. I'm actually- there's one thing in this level, there's a heart you can get, and I'm actually going to be able to get it. So, that's gonna be rad. Man, I lost health. Oh, and claim health. That is actual, legit behavior of, uh, hypocampuses, by the way. Also known as seahorses, I'm aware. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird- it's a weird word in- in French. No, it's a weird word in English. I don't know, this feels mine, because there's spikes there. Oh no, it's the big ol' carp! With the big ol' spear! And you can shoot out the eye if you're cruel. And actually, there is a gameplay reason for that. It has a super suction ability, too. It's pretty rad. And when you die, all its pieces fall apart, and it gives you one thing. Sometimes it can give you more than one thing, and there it gives you one thing. So you got Mega Man jumping. That, those are cool, because you know, it can shoot your way out, and then you see how they're all separate, but you you can also jump your way out, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Uh, that's what I was just doing there. All right, there, I th whoa, wow, your uh, vacuum effect is a lot longer range than I thought. I guess I'm just gonna have to destroy all of you then. Like, I was gonna leave you alone, but I mean, if you insist on me ending you, I guess that's just gonna happen. Oh no, Carp 2.0, yes, there's spikes. Yes, he has suction. This is pretty easy with a dash. Because you can dash? How is this gonna happen when you can't dash? Just hope that he doesn't use his vacuum effect and just shoot him forever? And I mean, if you see it coming, I guess you can jump like that. Okay, it might not be that bad. Okay, that wasn't that. I lost a life for nothing. But it's a, these are weird machine. I don't understand their lore. It's just after a while you do that and you can go up. I don't understand them. Oh, okay. You need you need to be jumping to get upward propulsion again with the uh, boots. Like it's easy enough to get up there. But uh, ah, there we go. And I can get one up. Oh, so I can get a I can get a bit loop here. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, badoo -ba loop So here's the thingy. So uh, you can do some platforming there where there's spikes and stuff. Uh, maybe you should. Oh, is this the one where you go up? Yeah. So you can do platforming and there's like falling mine and it's like, whoa, it's a platforming challenge. Or you can be smart and go on a boat. And you can even kill the boat. Ah, rudeness exists within this area. Uh, boat takes some hits to destroy. It has nice little servants, and it has a nice little grenade attack. Everything is nice. Uh, wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. But then you break the boat! There's no more boat, and no more goat, and smashes through the land. If you're a child, you think it's gonna create a hole where you die. But if you're a slightly older child, at some point you're bored and you just follow it here and you realize you're in the lair of the Great Seal King! Astounding! I think land is where the columns are at. Didn't really look. <laughs> but I think it's so cool that you can ride them. Just shoot it either in the head or in the tail. These are the officially recognized weak points of eels, and then goes all, you know, special effect like that, and then you're like, okay, yeah, it is where there's columns. The day is saved, and I got a health, oh boy, hooray, etc. This is the first heart I get in the game. Has there been any heart at all I've been able to get before this one? Uh, this is probably one of the last power-ups I've had in the whole game, and I just kind of assume that 
for some reason, you know, the wire level just does not have any power-ups in it, any collectibles. It's really weird. Remember the eel boss? How about we fight the eel boss again? This time he's going grr 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 and he comes out of the sand. It's a very different fight. <laughs> Actually, it is a very different fight. Man, this just feels so nasty. Like, you're just riding and you're shooting it, like, behind the head. Oh, I got hit like a dumb. Like, that's so nasty. Like, that's just... Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad doing that. Let me shoot in the tail there. Uh, I said that its pattern was a little bit different. It's a little bit different if you don't stay on its back. Like, I don't know why when you stay on its back, it just keeps going in a loop like that. I keep getting myself killed. I'm gonna end up happening at the boss. Like, I have no life. My sub-tank is in full. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna game over at the boss. Or maybe not. It's, it's partial. It's not all my health bang. It's, it's a good amount, though. Uh, let's make me feel good. Actually, no, wait! There's something super cool I could do with Like, I don't have the boss's weakness, but I got something that most Meganes don't have. I got a quasi-weakness. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, you say? You're kind of right. You know what? No, I got zero life, so might as well do it now. Let's check out the sweet octopus fight. It's got a goal. I hey, my name is Poisonous Man. That's not true. It's Slon Octopus. See, he's going. You're going down instead of just going flop flop. So let's hit him with a few. Like the boomerang is not his weakness, but I can cut off his tentacles. <laughs> that is so cruel. That is the cruelest thing you can do. I just lopped off his arms. Now what do you do? Nothing. He actually loses two attacks by doing this. Uh, he had homing fishies attack, and he has an attack where it can fly above you and like catch you in his tentacles and like literally drain your health, giving it to him, which is almost impossible to dodge if you don't have your boots. But I literally crippled him, uh, making me the hero in this fight, naturally. <laughs> oh no! Well, well, you'll see his full attack when we do the boss refight. Cause the boss refights, I'm gonna fight them with their with the boss weapons, like their weaknesses, which does not cripple him. Which means that we'll, you know, we'll actually see what he's able to do. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm sorry. You see, 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 see. I did not make that typo. Mega Man X made the original typo. Got the homing torpedoes. They're homing. They're homing missiles. Not to we didn't see a spec. Let's posthumously check out its spec. On Octopus, no? Pretty tall, I know. Horming torpedo right there. And the E drain, which we didn't see. We didn't see the E drain! No E drain here. Whoops! That was, you know, I did on purpose. Because, see, when you return a level, you don't have the boss animation that plays. And you have an escape unit that lets you escape. See, uh, good thing I was here to show you all of you that. And you get a password. Who defeats the launch octopus? Is it a gorilla? I mean, look, spoiler, his ability is electricity. It makes a lot of sense. You got the armadillo. Spoiler, his ability is an earth, but like barrier blocking. Both make kind of sense. You can also freeze it. Like maybe I was just lying. It's possible. It's very possible. 